Now let us talk about the hot start PCR. As the name suggests, again, hot start means uh, this kind of PCR begins with a very, very hot temperature. The temperature like 90 or above 90 degrees Celsius temperature, almost 95 degrees Celsius. 100 degrees Celsius temperature. So why it is uh, doing in this way? Because uh, this technique is uh, used uh, to reduce the non-specific amplification. Now what happens actually when we uh, first add all these things, uh, all those these primers and templates and all those DNTPs in a normal temperature, say the temperature, uh, the room temperature at 25 to 30 degrees Celsius temperature, what will happen? There is a tendency of the primers to go and anneal with uh, the unwanted region of the DNA or the template DNA. So this is a problem, this is a universal problem throughout the place that the primer, as the primer region uh, can have sequence similarity uh, with other regions except for the desired regions, it can go and uh, pair with it if it gets a lower temperature like the room temperature and so. So it can go and pair with it. So uh, uh, this kind of wrong or mispairing of primer with the uh, host template or primer with the uh, target template will uh, when when the pcr will start to amplify it so it it will start amplifying the non specific region it will start amplifying the unwanted region of the dna we don't want the expression and amplification of that dna but it will start amplifying those region due to the misincorporation of the primer with the target dna to block this what we need to do we need to heat the temperature the initial master mix at 95 degrees celsius temperature for a few minutes before adding the polymerase this is very very important Right before adding polymerase, we heat the, uh, this uh, master mix uh, up to 95 degrees Celsius temperature. So heating uh, this mixture to 95 degrees Celsius temperature in, uh, ensures that uh, at this 95 degrees Celsius temperature, as the temperature is pretty close to the melting temperature, so it will not uh, make sure that it will not allow the primer to come and bind with the target region. So it will block the non-specific primer binding so it will block the non-specific amplification of the DNA okay but again for this kind of process we must give them very very heat tolerant uh, thermostable uh, polymerase and again uh, this, this polymerase are PFU type of polymerase are given in this particular case okay so and this kind of polymers are having a very small activity at the room temperature but it is uh, it, it keeps rising the activity in the higher temperature right so this is called the hot start because at the very beginning we already heat the master mix at 95 degrees Celsius temperature after that we add a, our polymerase and after adding the polymers again the process begins uh, melting of the strands at 94 degrees Celsius temperature then cooling it into 50 4 or 53 uh, degrees Celsius temperature, then again rising the temperature to 72 degrees Celsius temperature for the polymerization process. So this cycle will be continued, but before all these things happen, what we need to do, we need to, we need to add uh, all this, we need to he heat this master mix at 95 degrees Celsius temperature. And adding uh, this master mix into 95 degrees Celsius temperature ensures two, di two different things. In each cycle, this hot temperature isolates the primer, stopping the molecular interaction. So this is the fact that I have already talked about, that it will isolate the primer out at this high temperature. So primer will not be able to bind with the target DNA in the non-specific site. This is an advantage. Second thing is that hot temperature releases just enough activated DNTP. So you can see here this, this uh, red colored thing is a thermolabile protecting group. Now what happens when we heat this temperature, this protecting group is just cut out and it will be moved away. As a result of this moving away of this uh, protecting thermolabile protecting group, we can actually carry out this process. Otherwise, this thermolabile protecting group actually blocking the polymerization process. This is another important thing about the hot start PCR. We need to make sure that in the master mix, we add this kind of modified enzyme, which is having the thermolabile protecting group at the terminal. So actually, uh, this thermolabile protecting group is present in the DNTPs. So the DNTPs that we are providing at this temperature uh, for, for this hot start PCR must be unique. They must be carrying this kind of thermolabile protecting group at this uh, three prime end of the sugar, ribose sugar. Okay, so this is we need to make sure for all. And why it is important? Because in normal situation, in, in room temperature, uh, the polymerization will not be possible because this thermolabile protecting group will not allow uh, the polymerase to sit on and adding the nucleotide sequences. 
So once only it will be heated at 95 degrees Celsius temperature, this uh, labile group will be cut away and so that the rest of the nucleotide sequences can be added and a polymerization can start. Okay.